Today I'm going to show you how to create custom reports in Xero. So there are quite a few reports already in Xero, and I think that you would be pretty hard pressed not to find a report that you're looking for. But sometimes there's reports that you, there's times where you want to see specific information and you want to see that on a regular basis. And you don't necessarily want to see that information with everything else that's in that report. So that's where you will create a custom report. So we'll just firstly jump into reports and see what we've got to play with and all of the, these we will use as our base. So there might be times when you want to look at your wages and your superannuation for the previous month but you don't want to see all of the other uh, payroll stuff that happens in the month and you don't want to see everything else that comes in through on a profit and loss report. So let's start with account transactions. And we're going to change the date range to last month and we're going to bring up wages and tick that one on and superannuation and tick that one on. Now they're the only two things that we want to see and we'll just update that. So this, this might be a very simple and basic report that you want to see on a monthly basis for the previous month or even for the current month but we'll set it as a previous month report. So once you've got on the screen here the information that you want to see what we do is we save as custom and we don't want to call it account transactions because otherwise you're not going to ever be able to differentiate what the report is until you open it up so let's call this wages and superannuation monthly all right and save here. Now you don't want to create this as a default otherwise every time you click into the account transactions report these are going to be the filters. So you want to keep your your main um, templated report exactly how it is and then build on that from there and we'll just save this. Now where you're going to find this report is in our reports list. It's not in here these are the standard uh, zero reports but if you click into custom here here's the report that you've just created and if this is something that you would like to see that you look at regularly and probably it would be since you've take, gone to the effort of creating a custom report just click on the little star here which will add it to your favorites uh, screen and then when you click on your accounts you've got your favorite report down here. Now you can do that with a number of things. You can take any of those reports, move them around, add things in. You can even put formulas into some of the reports, um, create the, the format of the report exactly how you want it to be, save it as a custom report and then add it to your favourites list. And that's how you create custom reports in Xero.